when you are. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. <laughs> that was my attention getter. Oh, you got it. Okay. This is my condo that I moved to. I, I, I showed the bathroom because that's where the leak is still in the wall that they will not, the people upstairs have to uh, not to use their guest bathroom, mm -hmm. so it won't leak into my bathroom and, it's there, and flood here. Mm -hmm. well, not, I live right here, so it's an ideal situation. I, I'd walk right out to the pool. You would think it would be great. You would think? But my problem is with the management. We have what, we, what they call antiquated plumbing. In the old days, they used copper or, or metal, or better, I'm losing the word for it, possibly metal. They use PVC today. It doesn't rot through. So what happened was, my problem, I'm describing my problem now. I go forward? Yeah. My problem issues and funding issues and the administrative problems, they're not being addressed by the condo association. They just roll their eyes. And the person that I thought was the president that was so charming when I was being accepted to the condo turned into like a Stedford woman. You know, I don't know if you guys seen this, that just a very controlled robot type where anything you tell them just doesn't reach anybody. Mm -hmm. Well, we have no money. Well, I won't accept that. You accept that or get a lawyer. That's you know, the retort that you get from the association. Mm -hmm. So, I want to I want to go for. Now the problem is that this water from the drain leaks down into my sink, floods underneath the sink that you don't see in the kitchen, but you have a pool out in your patio. I tried to ignore it because all I had to do was mop it and I knew they, if they tore up my kitchen it would never be the same and I had a cute little mm -hmm. cottage style apartment in this, mm -hmm. as you can see, or I thought I showed some of the pictures of it. In any case, they finally resolved the problem by tearing the walls out, ripping out the cabinets, all custom made cabinets, never put it back together the same as it was. The bathroom that I showed in the original picture, the people upstairs still can't use their bathroom, or I'm at the mercy if they ever got disgusted with this, I'd have a pool in my, in my uh, uh, master ba bathroom. So I've suggested some, oh, and that funding, they never have money for anything. I was a, I was a president myself, and we always took extra money for maintenance to set up a reserve. There was no such thing as coming to me when I was president for 10 years of our old condo. Of course, it wasn't as nice as this condo, so that's where the catch is. When, if somebody came to me with an emergency, I'd get a plumber. I never heard of saying, we just don't have no money you got to live with. And these people, and, and when they tell you to take it to upper management, which is a management company, you're told by them, get a lawyer. We don't care. And the one thing I learned is it's almost like carrying a gun. If you're not prepared to use it, don't threaten people with a lawyer because they're not going to they're, they're gonna, they're see that you can't do anything about it. So we go to the next one. Oh, I've discussed that, my problem. So we'll go to the next one. Press, press the other one. Press the right. There you go. go there the you third go. One. I can move. But I like the place. It's like a cute bachelor type place for an old man. And, you know, uh, the pool is right there and it's convenient. I don't want to move. And it could be expensive because I practically stole the place. I paid 36000 with all the furniture and everything. I, don't, I can't find a bargain like that. You can sue, but it can be very costly and you still may not get your point across. Then you could join the condo association, which I offered because of my experience of 10 years of doing this and running four or five different buildings. 
They don't even want you in their, in their sanctum. Or, uh, they don't want you in their clique. The, the pool, they own the pool. They have their own little society by the pool. So everything is done on a clique. They don't want it. So if you attend the meetings, they sort of look at you, what the hell are you here for? Why are you here? So I, the only solution, uh, so I, the only solution that I recommend is that we, you got to encourage the other residents to make more of an issue of these things that aren't being addressed to see if they'll finally either find the money, even if they increased our uh, maintenance, at least we know, you know, that things are being taken care of because you're at the mercy of any emergency now. So that would be my recommendation. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. So let me just, if I may. I'm kind of hypocritical because I do a lot of talking, but I haven't done anything about it. So I, I, I would encourage my neighbors and myself to do more about it. And that's pretty much what I have to say about my situation. Oh, and as, as a disclaimer, some of my ranting and ravings in the beginning, they are starting to, they did post a thing on the billboard now. The, the funds that they've taken for projects, they're going to start. They are, but they don't address what they do in emergencies, but they were, uh, because I mentioned in this also that there was fu funding issues. They took assessments from us, which they never showed us. Now we're going to see the paved, suppose, hopefully we're going to see the paved uh, parking lot in the back. We're going to see the security fences. So some of my ranting and raving and screaming got somewhere, so I got to give credit where it's still, it's getting better. That's, that's the end. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what questions you might ask, but I can a answer them from a professional point of view because I, I was a condo president. But I don't know. So what, um, when you say join the condo association, and it sounds like that's, you know, making some noise is really the only way that mm -hmm. you're going to get some kind of response. Right. So what? How how do you join the association? They don't encourage it. They don't have elections like in my place. If I wasn't good, I'd be voted out. Mm -hmm. Every year we we were mandated that there had to be an election, mm -hmm. and if uh, and if you weren't accepted, uh, renominate just like uh, like the president mm -hmm. of the United States. Mm -hmm. You weren't the president. Mm -hmm. They don't even like make you aware of that. Hmm. You have bylaws, but then you're facing the same political yeah, thing. You have to read. They claim they're printing new bylaws and they're uh, uh, condo documents, mm -hmm. but there's no leverage unless you had other people fighting with you. Nobody's making. Everybody's just docile about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you enforce these things. Well, I mean, I think that that's. I think your recommendation is really the one, the first step, right? I mean, before you even got to suing. I think probably if you did contact a lawyer, like perhaps a you know a condo law person, you know, which I have a lot down here. In yes, Florida. but you have you can't do it alone. I certainly can't. Right, right, but I guess that, that, a, that no, 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 a condo no, that has their own management of course. and five other buildings that they manage. But the question would be that someone with knowledge about the bylaws and the way that these things are supposed to work, they may be mandated by law to have. A oh, there definitely is. I'm sure in the And if they're not, you know, if they're not I'm doing sure it, the they can be in you can't violation. tell a person not to turn the, the, the right, toilet right, off and right. that the water's going to leak through the floor. Right, but um, your, your alternative is to join the condo association and get more involved, and that would be your first step. Yes, So that absolutely. would be that would be what you need to do is figure out how to, how to open those. But I'm those. too lazy and I'm yeah. not pushing that issue. That's my problem. Yeah. I'm a hypocrite. I yell a lot, but I don't do nothing. Also, Valos might tell you because you said you have a problem with a leak, right? Yes. Sometimes there's usual division who who is responsible for what, like housing association is responsible for external or like small pipes, but like internal pipes usually kind of. No, they are responsible. They are. But they're saying like some countries just uh, mm -hmm. like uh, Russia may say, well, what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. You know, and they invade a country. 
or you see uh, politics like ISIS, mm -hmm. they just go in and they take a position. They're not, there's nobody, uh, there's a counteraction against them. That's where the problem is. I haven't so, paid for cable in a long time, but um, I know Channel 7 had uh, that Help Me Hour. I mean, that's something like free that you can contact and just anonymous or send something. No, but if they're saying they have no money and they don't. Right, but what Michael was saying is that there may be public interest people that you can go to that, you know, are volunteers that would be able to take up your cause. It doesn't have to, so when, it, you don't have to go to the step to sue right away, and there are some lawyers that will pro bono look at some of these cases, meaning without a fee. Um, so that would be something that you, that yes, could be another possibility. Yes, that could be looked into, yeah. but the idea is their argument is we just don't have the money. What it is, is they're not doing nothing right. to get money. Well, yeah. They have to be actually pushed out. But right, but the pressure has to come from somewhere, and if it can't come right. from the residents, then Michael's saying there may be these sort of public watchdogs. Right. There could be attorneys who do, who right. do work pro bono for certain developments, and so that might be something that you look at in addition to sort of trying to be more in the, you know, get your voice heard more in the condo association. So those could be interim steps, because like you said, suing is very expensive. Very expensive. Can't do it on your own. But there may be other avenues for to kind of shed light on their the practices. Other people, they're such nice people, but yeah. they're too docile. Yeah. They're not going to do it. Just, so that's, that's my prediction. That's where you and are. And the reason I picked this topic, I've been retired for, I, I, I forgot how long, so I don't have a job to talk about. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, but this is, this is, this, contains issues that are, you know, this is the exact analysis that you would have to do if it was a business-related issue, okay? okay. Um, someone could have this issue in a workplace with a landlord for their small business, and the landlord's not listening to them and in a commercial setting, and these may be their options as well. Maybe not a condo association, but perhaps some kind of, you know, public watchdog situation. Oh, and were you able to tell that was a phony nose? Because I have a big nose myself. So it, it was close there for a minute, it but I figured close, I, 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 we you figured were able it out. To pick yes, it out. Absolutely. Okay. All right, thank you.